Bing bong, bong, bing bong, bong. This is Joe, the bearded historian. He'll tell you an interesting history. Be careful of his soldiers. They can be brats. This is Angel. She's an entity. She'll cause his us and plant her hands at you. This is Sue. She likes spirits, not the alcohol. She's the reason this channel exists. This is David. He likes fire trucks. He's here occasionally. Bing bong y bong, bing bong y bong, bing bong y bong. We preserve his story. Good morning. You ready? Here we go. Shout out time. Here's a shout out just for you. You support me, so I support you. The shout out is for our friend. Let's see. Spinny. And the winner today is Sharon. Okay, so hang on. Okay, Sharon's Pops and Plants. This channel will be about pop collection and gardening. It's a very fun channel. Uh, lots of Funkos. Lots and lots of Funkos. <laughs> but also a little bit of gardening. Um, so check her out, like, share, comment, let her know we sent you. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for showing up. It's one of those things that it's an awesome day. Um, unfortunately, it's a little windy. Some of the things we're going to be able to do, we have plans, like we actually had to raise the a ladder off and let you kind of play around with that. But uh, with the wind conditions, it just won't even happen. A lot of things that came into play with this. Um, it's been a dream of ours for many, many years. Um, it, it, uh, as we're starting to see every different aspect of South Dakota, Rapid City, Blackhawk, Piedmont, is starting to develop more and more. Uh, we're now in a part that uh, we are starting to see more and more commercial buildings come up. As firefighters, our job is already tough and it's very dangerous. One of the things that uh, we kind of see is that when we get on top of a roof to cut a hole in the roof, um, that puts us in a lot of danger. With this addition of this ladder truck, um, that actually will reduce a lot of our dangers with that. And then the other thing is, um, for the past four years, we've actually had two major commercial structure fires. Both times, uh, for the first time, we didn't have a ladder truck available. Um, the second time, we actually had three ladder trucks going. And now it comes down to we're starting to see bigger commercial buildings that we need more, more water for. And this is actually does a very good uh, addition to Black Hawk. But also kind of think about fire service is one big family. So if Piedmont wants help, if Valley wants help, even the city around the city, they keep on breaking their fire trucks, we'll come in and help them too. <laughs> Probably just had to do that one Brian. <laughs> but it comes down to fire service, no matter where it is, um, we will go out and help our brothers, sisters in arms, and we will make sure that they stay safe. A lot of people are asking, um, why do we bless fire trucks? Fire trucks just, uh, uh, just like the people that are inside of it. If we start on the right foot with God, that's why we have our right hand man right here, um, he blesses the truck, he blesses the truck that uh, keeps all the firefighters safe, and also make sure that everybody gets home. Uh, previously, we didn't do a whole lot of that, uh, but now I'm one of those, I don't want to uh, upset um, different people, so we're going to start doing it from now on. So that's why we bless that, so we keep our firefighters safe and go from there. One of the things that we cannot do is our board. Um, Dave, Mike, you guys want to say something since Rick's not here? Um, <laughs> Our board of directors, we have nine board of directors. They're the ones that actually help us manage our money. Uh, we are a tax district, and so, yes, we have funds available, but all that, that purchase is goes through them. They work day and night um, to really make sure that we can actually have the funds available for this, this purchase itself. And so I do appreciate that. The other people that were very active involved with is our truck committee. Myself is on there. Drew is actually out on a fire right now in Washington State. Uh, Mike and Tabby Scott, where are you at, Tabby? She's over there in the background. <laughs> Troy Carling, he's also decided that today is first day of an opening, so he decided to go to that instead. <laughs> Sometimes I don't blame him, but uh, uh, it is one of those things. And also all the members of Blackhawk Fire Department. 
you know, we can't have a ladder truck if we can't have people that are available to come in and again, do the extra training. Because having a ladder truck now, it puts a lot of training on us. Um, we not just have to do regular training, but we actually have to train with this. Um, if you ever kind of think about how our departments are rated, um, it's called ISO. I can't think of the words right now when it breaks down to, but it's, it's actually it's a, a grading system. What does ISO stand for, Jerome? Insurance Service Organization. Thank you. <laughs> He's much smarter than I am. <laughs> but it just comes down to, they're the ones that grade our departments. Um, here at Blackhawk, we're at a grade five, which is pretty darn good for a volunteer fire department. If you're not in the Blackhawk proper itself, you're on the outlining, you're at grade six. Uh, my goal with this equipment, with our training, we're going to try to get four in town and also five on the outer parts of it. And so with this apparatus, that actually will uh, help us um, obtain more points we go to do that. So, other than that, As you keep doing that, you want to play that. We have one of our fire explorers. Um, this past year, we actually started a fire explorer. Um, young males and females that would like to be in the fire service. This happens to be if your parents are on the party too, but uh, uh, it, it's one of those things that we're actually looking towards the future. I am very old. Um, I've get to the point where I need to start training my replacement. Um, it, it comes down to we have to start thinking about that. Also, I'd like to introduce to you Ray Reynolds. He was the first fire chief or second fire chief that I was with Blackhawk Fire Department. He was the fire chief for a number of years. He's seen a lot of good development about Blackhawk. So with him and also the other previous fire chiefs, is actually, it actually makes it easier for me to do my job. So, y'all would join me outside by the truck. We're going to bless it. <laughs> Good idea to go in the way that most people work.
also boil foods and kill those injured by climate change. For today, oil becomes a symbol of killing. The Maltese cross was created by the Knights of Malta, founding in 1048. And many people in the United States bring killing to the cross for the other end of the world. When the spilled mineral spirit paved the way for fire to become the cure of purpose of the day, the Knights of Malta wrapped the burned battle casualties in their own work, brought them to a safe haven, and treated the burned victims with the common killing herbs. Over centuries, the Maltese cross has been called the symbol of service. To live in truth, to have faith, to repent one's sin, to be a fruit of humility, to love justice, to be merciful, to be insincere in one's heart, May all firefighters and EMS who are called to service in this apparatus be brought under your protection and God of protection. Give them the confidence they need in difficult situations. Surround them in an awareness of their special training and help them leave behind any indifference. Focus on teamwork, integrity, and concern for each other. Hey, <laughs> Get blown by the wind. 
Because we may get baptized by the wind. Okay. I think so. Are you ready to head to the car, bud? Yeah. 